everybody, welcome back to Jamea's Promo. And today we will be doing Samsung Smart Switch to move all of our content from the Galaxy Note 10 Plus over to the brand new Galaxy S20. Now there's two ways that you can use Samsung Smart Switch. The first way is actually the way we're doing today, which is wirelessly. But the other way is if you're using the Samsung dongle. So this way you'd be able to place this in the bottom of the phone. You can use the cable to connect it to your other phone, which is usually primarily the best way to do it if you go from Apple to Samsung. But because we're going Samsung to Samsung, let's do this thing wirelessly. And you can see everything that can transfer over and just how fast. So this phone right over here is connected to a Wi-Fi. This one's actually not connected at the moment, but I'm gonna show you that you don't have to be connected to get this thing done. Now, once you transfer everything over to your brand new phone, then you'd be able to place in your micro SD card and you can place in your SIM card. So the easiest and fastest way to get this done is just by going inside of your settings and then underneath the search icon, just search for Samsung Smart Switch or just search for Smart Switch and you're gonna find it right there underneath accounts and backup. So once you have this one searched, you go inside of here and you click on Smart Switch. Now, usually just with the way that I've always done this, I've had my old phone to the left and the new phone on the right, just so I kind of know that I'm moving over. Now you do have to accept all the permissions. So it's a way that it's able to read your phone, your call logs, contacts, calendar, SMS, uh, your storage, microphone, location, everything else, because all of that will move over. Now from here, all you'd have to do is click on this one right over here, which this is the phone that is sending the data. And this right over here will be receiving the data, but I don't have to hit that just yet. So we're going with wireless. Then now that we're going with wireless, we're gonna choose this one down here which we didn't have to touch the receive data because it was able to find it. So now you just wanna make sure you wanna connect it to the correct phone if there was more phones around you, and then it's able to connect automatically. This is the point where it's basically just kind of connecting, reading a few things, and then we'd be able to get everything going. So let's take a look right here. So this screen here, you're able to choose what you want to bring over and how much of these things you want to move over. Right now it's moving over 45 gigs, which states it'll take about 33 minutes, but it'll be a little little bit quicker than that. Now let's head over into messages. So this is where it's pretty important. Messages is actually what takes the longest out of everything uh, because it has to put everything in chronological order per each conversation. So for me, really, I don't think I need anything from further than three months away. So uh, I'm gonna go with the last 30 days and you're gonna see that it's gonna change just a little bit of what you're moving over uh, in the time. If we look over into images, you can actually select what you want and what you don't want to move over. Um, let's say we go underneath the videos. It looks like there's a lot of videos. When you hit on the little arrow, you can go through and you can actually deselect some of these the, the gallery things. So if there's a lot of this stuff that you really don't need, you're actually able to go through and deselect a lot of this stuff. So I'm just gonna do it for now. I'm gonna move all of it so you can kind of see everything that is able to move over. And then now that we have all of this done, let's hit on transfer. And then now it's going to copy the stuff. So as it goes through copying everything over, then it would actually start saving it to the phone. So if you want to, you can actually keep the screen on. I'm one of those people that actually likes to watch this go on with its progress. Uh, and so this way it doesn't time out and everything else. Now, if you are doing this at a store and they mention that you can leave the store, you are able to, but just make sure that you are keeping these two phones pretty close to each other. So you don't wanna separate them too far because they are connected basically through Wi-Fi direct. So you wanna be within you know, 30, 50 feet just to be safe. But let's check back here in just a couple minutes and see how long it actually takes. Again, we're moving over 45 gigs of storage. So it has now been 19 minutes since we started this process. Uh, right over here, the phone is actually done, so we'd be able to close this one out. Right now, this is basically just organizing everything. So originally it stated it would take about 33, 34 minutes, uh, but actually <laughs> with everything going on, it's right closer to about 20, 21 minutes. So it's just now organizing everything. If you have more text messages, if you have it for a longer period of time, more conversations, uh, images, things like that that's within those text messages, this is the point where it would take just a little bit longer, but we're actually looking pretty good. So here we are finished and it was only 20 minutes later. All of the copied items uh, was actually, oh, look at this. It actually moved over just right now, uh, my wallpaper that was actually just sitting here. 
all of the way that everything was set up. If you remember, there was nothing done with this phone over here. I actually had just uh, the smaller screen grid. So it was like a four by four. Uh, all of my folders are right here. So it's actually looking pretty good. All my applications, some of them will be grayed out, but that's only because they are reinstalling uh, or you'd have to install them yourselves. But it looks like a lot of the applications are right now downloading, but there was a lot of information that was transferred over. So after everything has been installed, it took 20 minutes. It's now looking for some updates for applications, installing all the applications. It made everything look the exact same way as what it was from before. When you go inside of messages, you're gonna have all of your messages sitting right there. All of your contacts are sitting there because they would have moved over if they were stored in the phone. Once I place in my Samsung account and my Gmail, then everything will be sitting there exactly the way that it was from before. So all of my contacts that are saved on Google, this is the moment when you want to put in your micro SD card and also put in your SIM card. Now heading over inside of the gallery, this is one of those things that you do want to take a look at other than text messages and your contacts just to make sure everything did move over. So this is where I can check out and all my images and videos and everything that was from my past phone everything is sitting there you can take a look at it it's dating back all the way to August 22nd of 2019. These were the first 3D images I've done on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. We are looking good, everything is perfect, and now you can see just how powerful and how fast Samsung Smart Switch is. 20 minutes later, 45 gigs on the phone and the way that my phone looked from before. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.